Go. Hey guys, Bondo back. Here we've got a car that I think um, spent a couple of years up in Connecticut and um, got repaired up there. You know, um, I kind of wonder if some of this is um, That sure looks like things work for me and with you guys. Um, he used the real, real filler on it. The funny thing is, none of this is cracked and we just got them cleaning it out. And it is like, but anyway, the purpose of this bit, some of you guys wanted to see when you got a dang deep dent, like when, you know, this is all pushed in here and pushed in pretty good, you know, and go, oh, geez, you know, Bondo, how do you get, you know, I feel like the old thing, um, that's kind of a bad name because people get all these little mountains all over in the work. Well, I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I do. This is for you guys that, you know, are trying to figure out how in the heck do I get this thing big old crease out of here without making mountains all over the place. So what I do is I take, this is an old Scott plant. You can buy these from Guy Chart. There's a lot of different ways to do it. This is the way I like to do it. Cause they were throwing this thing probably about a three to five pound clamp on it. And put that right on those that row of studs there, just like so. Then, I grab this little slide hammer. Whoa, look at that. Didn't stand a chance. We got that out now. I might have that handy dandy favorite hammer. We don't have a bunch of those little mountains all over the place. And we'll just kind of keep working this thing out. More of my studs on. I prefer to take 2.0 studs. I've got a sack of the 2.5s, which I never use. They're crap. Don't waste your money on them. Like the 2.0s, when you do it this way, will pull just as much. But um, this actually goes pretty good. They do actually make like wiggle wire for this, this and that. And uh, I've got to run this across here. Ain't this a dang price? I still can't believe ding what he did to the dang back of that quarter though. Um, and it looks like um, Jim almost have painted it because all the clear is peeling along that thing. Belt will need to boot. But same thing back here. You know, we just kind of get our row up. And like I said, this dip don't have a chance. We're going to move a lot of real estate in a hurry. And that's it. One thing I found fixing dents is if you get a mess like that, that's because you're working too damn hard. The fewer moves you make, the better. Any of this stuff. A little more. Oh. When we get down this and we get it all up, then I'll be able to go and just pick a few spots and get some of this oil can out. But um, you guys get the general idea, though. Yeah, it works out pretty good, you know. I can't believe some of that is fixing this ass fire. But, you know, um, it's got some of um, really neat other parts to it. You guys wonder how in the heck. Now, you know, you go out with a camera and a dolly and take your door panel apart. And let's be honest, does this car really deserve nothing but the best I have to offer here? Um, same thing here. Clamp up. I think they said something about a guy named, named Stone on 
fix the molding form, as you can see here, mark it close, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Hey, they even got a straight slot here. I don't know what those are. Would they have tried? No, I don't know if those are pop rivets or not. So what did you do there? Anyway, you know. But um, but I see when he stone paint oh no, no, I think he taped over off this molding too. But um like I said it's um there is some I'm not really keep this order. Auto body repair tape. Now that was um for that big gobbledy gut hole there. I gotta figure out I'm gonna stitch a little patch in there after I beat that quarter up. That one there I will probably go into the inside and level it out a little bit. We might be able to get some of this stuff. But, and then like I said, uh, the other thing that kind of gives it away is I like the way they box them. And I don't know what that is on there. You guys don't know if you can tell what that is. That's something else. And um, and to think the guy's actually paying me extra to fix that along with that. But um, they're paying me more than I'd give them for the car. That's the honest truth. Well, anyway, I'll let you guys go now. I thought some of you guys might get a kick out of this bit. And just, just just to show you that I am not afraid to work on anything because that's kind of a little job. Um, I'll let you guys go and talk to you later.